Hey guys, this is Brandon from Heart Song. We've been having a blast this summer. Um, past two weeks we've been at Rush Camp where we got to sing and worship three times a day. Um, just hang out with campers and play some crazy games such as uh, Zombie Tag, um, Ultimate Frisbee. It was great. Um, we also saw Leland there, which was awesome. Um, they're some great guys. Uh, and now we're here at Scioto Hills, which has been pretty amazing. Um, they have so many cool activities. Um, last night we had this awesome pool party where, like, just probably a hundred campers in the pool, just spontaneous splash dancing and uh, just a great time, um, just celebrating uh, an awesome week here at camp. Hi, this is Aleska. Um, I'm currently at Scioto Hills, and this is my first summer on the road with Heartsong, and it has been amazing watching how God has worked. Um, this week, I met a girl who was really struggling with knowing whether or not she was saved. She'd been coming to camp for a very long time, and every time she would go home, and she just didn't know whether or not she was saved or not, and that was really just weighing on her heart. Um, and I had the opportunity to just sit and pray with her um, and encourage her um, in her salvation and just knowing um, the love of Christ and um, how God is working in her life. Hey everyone, it's Will. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. It means so much to us that you're praying and supporting us so that we can help people respond to God uh, in a way that honors Him uh, and so that we can interact with, with students and adults alike so that they can understand the gospel more fully. One of the most unexpected but most profitable parts about traveling is in the summer is the ability that you have to interact with uh, leaders and people who have done ministry before and can really pour into you. And the first two weeks that we spent out on the road, we were at Rush Camp at Camp Chautauqua in Ohio, and there was a man there named Andy Ziegenfuss who at one time was traveling with this ministry. And it was so cool to see how he, uh, in some ways, could see how the baton was getting passed. And what was really awesome about Andy is we both benefited because he had the opportunity to see young men and women doing what he used to do uh, and enjoying it and, and loving it and doing it faithfully. And then we also had the benefit of seeing a man who was involved in this ministry and is still continuing to remain faithful to Christ to this day. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.